Is your family under crisis? Or are you confused about the choice of who to marry? Well, I have got a piece of good news for you. The good news is that with Christ you are saved. And as we pray with you this hour, every family crisis shall be routed. Every marital confusion shall be clarified in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all my listeners and viewers, those whose families are challenged due to family crisis, marital confusion, uncertainties about marriage, health concerns, lack of finance, childlessness, external negative influences and interferences, accusations and counter accusations, irreconcilable differences among many others. Dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, let these challenges be gone. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against anything that has been depriving these ones of their peace, joy, and courage in the power of the name of Jesus and by the authority of the faithful and unfailing word of God. I decree restoration of peace, joy, sufficiency, and certainty for those confused. I pray for your instant intervention in the life and family of that man, that woman, that boy, that girl who desires to make the right choice in marriage in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare healing to those whose health are challenged. I decree abundance to those under financial pressure and deprivation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And for those whose home or marriage is in crisis and in turmoil due to disagreements, mistrust, distrust, infidelity, childlessness, absence of love and care, alcoholism, lack and deprivation. I decree peace be still. Let love and friendship reign in the name of Jesus. Let what is lacking be abundantly supplied in the name of Jesus. Dear Father Lord, I pray for your divine intervention in the life of every of my listeners and viewers whose life is not going according to your good plans in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let every challenge in the life of my listeners and viewers be destroyed, routed, and terminated. For it is written in your word, dear Lord, in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, that it is for this purpose that you came to destroy the works of the devil. And your word says in the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 13, that every plant that the Father in heaven has not planted himself will be put up by the roots. Therefore, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I remove every source of tension and crisis in the homes of every listener and viewers, be it sickness, barrenness, impotency, rejection, bad or ill love, addiction, etc., in the name of Jesus Christ because they are not the planting of the Lord. Therefore, I command them to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. I cause the root of every tension in homes and the families of our listeners and viewers in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness that has a name in the bodies of any of my listeners, I cause it in the name of Jesus. For it is written in the book of Job chapter 22 verse 28, that I shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto me, and the light shall shine upon my ways, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and demand the restoration of peace, love, and harmony in every troubled homes and every troubled marriage, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree reconciliation, return of peace, return of conviviality, in the name of Jesus. I demand the restoration of all losses due to the lingered crisis as it is written in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 25 which says, 
and I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Therefore, Father Lord, whatever any family here has lost due to the crisis, I demand restoration in the name of Jesus. And for the families that have suffered lack and abjection, Lord, I pray, let the power that resurrected Jesus Christ from death, the power that pulled down the wall of Jericho, the power that parted the Red Sea, the power that multiplied two fishes and five loaves of bread, the power that blew in quails and produced manna for the children of Israel to eat in the wilderness, to come to their rescue in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, according to your promises of divine supply in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, where your word says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, I pray for divine providence and supplies to your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the root cause of poverty, lack, and want be broken and terminated in their lives and families in the name of Jesus. Give them the idea and wisdom to create wealth in accordance with your word in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swear unto thy father, as it is this day. Father, give them the power to come out of poverty and want. Give them the power to make wealth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Supply in abundance to them, dear Father Lord, those things which are in lack, which are the part of reasons for tension and bad blood in their families in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, restore and bestow them with love, peace, harmony, finance, children, and joy in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, remember that you promised to grant our desires. In the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24, where your word says, The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. And in verse 25 your word says, As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. Therefore, dear Lord, I ask, in accordance with your words in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16, that you give my listeners and viewers peace always by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, I ask for a lasting and sustainable peace, for every family that is watching this video. Give peace to those who are in need, dear Lord, through abundance of supply of your blessings, for your blessings make rich without sorrow according to Proverbs 10.22. Let the work of their hands be blessed, cause them to be favored, from home and from abroad. Let kings, governors, presidents, and men that matter remember them and come and minister to them. Give them the treasures of darkness and riches of the secret places, as your word promises in Isaiah chapter 45 from verses 2 to 3, saying, I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight, I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Open unto them dear Lord the widows of heaven, and pour out unto them an abundance of your blessings, after the order of Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Where your word says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. From today, dear Lord, may they never know lack again. Let lack and want be far from them. May they never know poverty, shame, and reproach again. In the mighty name of Jesus, let their barns and bank accounts always have surplus. Judge with destruction every devilish interference with their peace. In the name of Jesus. And for those who are looking for life partners, I pray for them, dear Lord. Because their desire is noble and in accordance with your will. Guide them into making the right decisions and choices. 
For your word says in Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, that it is not good that the man should be alone, and that you will make him a help meet for him. Therefore, dear Lord, since these ones have taken to do your will, dear Lord, do not abandon them. Guide them with your spirit, and cause them to choose the right partners, that you have ordained for them. For your word says dear Lord, in the book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 15, that none shall lack her mate. As a result, dear Father Lord, provide these ones with their suitable mates. Deliver them from those wicked people who will be thorns in their flesh, from those who will not value or appreciate them. Lead them to partners who will adore, honor, appreciate, and also do them well every day of their lives. Cause them to escape the trap of that strange man or that strange woman. Keep their eyes, O Lord, on your righteous ways, and take care of them because they have your fear, and walk in accordance with your will, and in accordance with your promises in Proverbs chapter 2 from verses 1 to 22. Your word says, that you will cause them to have knowledge of righteousness and right acting, and upright behavior, even of every good way. Therefore, dear Lord, let wisdom come into their heart, and let knowledge be pleasing unto their soul. Cause wise purposes to watch over them, and knowledge to keep them. Give them salvation from the evil men and women, and also from those whose words are false. Those who give up the way of righteousness, who go by dark roads, who take pleasure in wrongdoing, and have joy in the evil designs of the sinner. Those whose ways are not straight, and whose footsteps are turned to evil. Take them out of the power of the strange men and women, who say smooth words with their tongue, who are false to the partners of their early years, and who do not keep the agreement of God in their mind. Those whose house is on the way down to death, whose footsteps go down to the shades. Because those who go to them do not come back again, their feet do not keep in the ways of life. All these I desire over every listener and viewer, in the almighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Father Lord because we know you have heard and answered us, for we prayed in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Congratulations. For further assistance, particularly as it relates to prayers and counseling, you may indicate interest in the comment box. Congratulations once more. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video, subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that, you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.